race family race family i'm back baby i'm back i'm ready to film i got so much to show you guys share with you guys as you can see behind us we got ourselves a brand new trailer just two days ago can't wait to show you guys the inside walk you around tell you why i upgrade well you know what i'll tell you right now the main reason we upgraded is we have some really exciting racing coming up this back half of the year with the supra and I couldn't bring our golf cart. I recently bought a golf cart. I showed you guys here on the channel. And my old trailer, my ATC 24 foot, later this month would have been two years of owning that trailer. And it was great to us. I loved that trailer, but it was only 24 feet in length. This bad boy is 32 feet in length. So this thing is big. Behind our bus, we're gonna be close to 80 feet, if not 80 feet in length. It's gonna be uh, past, I wanna say most state limit requirements, but it is what it is. We gotta get to the races. Now with this bad boy, I can bring the golf cart, I can bring the Supra, or I can leave the golf cart behind and bring the Supra and the Jeep. So the fact that I can fit two cars in here, it's a game changer. And the reason why we needed that is Florida 2K is about a little under five weeks away. So in the next five weeks, you guys are gonna get a lot of Supra content because I have to finish the Supra. I've gotten a lot of work done to it and I'll show you guys in coming up videos, but I gotta finish the Supra. I have to dyno the Supra. I know you guys love the dyno videos. We gotta dyno it, we gotta go test it. Then we got Florida 2K, which is like a multiple day event. We'll be out there racing, just hanging out. I'll document it all for you guys and show you guys. Couple weeks after that, we go to World Cup, guys. I bought my ticket for World Cup. This is up in Maryland. I went there one time, but it was during COVID, so spectators weren't really allowed in. It, was, it wasn't the typical. It was the, the Hail Mary Derby, they called it, instead of the actual World Cup. There was no payouts. There wasn't true classes. It was more so like testing. But we drove up there. We had a terrible performance. I broke my super rear end. I broke the Supra. I broke the transmission on one pass. I put another transmission, and I broke the rear end, so we, we totally failed but overall we had an awesome time we met a lot of really cool people and now we're ready to go back and compete we bought our ticket for the street fighter class so a class filled with really fast cars man cars last year in that class were going 70s 71s 72s i don't think anyone clicked off a of 690 but the setups that that are required for that class could very easily do it and that's where i think our car will be a, a 690 7071 car so should be crazy competitive, I can't wait. And now we'll be able to bring our golf cart, bring the family with us in our motor home. So I'm excited for that. So that's some new piece of news. And now onto our trailer. Guys, I wanna give a huge shout out to FB Trailers. You can see their sticker on the side of the car. I'll show that really quick. I said car, on the side of the trailer. I'll show that really quick, their phone number's on there. So FB Trailers, you can see it there. Phone number 904-371-9791. I've bought, I've actually owned three enclosed trailers, all three of which I've bought from FB Trailers. They're in Tallahassee, Florida. No, I, I lied. Not Tallahassee. It's Jacksonville. They're in Jacksonville, Florida. They're in Orange Park, right outside of Jacksonville, Florida. Um, but it's well worth the drive. They have great inventory. I bought my first trailer, and I know you guys can see the Escalade in front, and you're probably wondering how the heck did you pull that with that? But believe it or not, man, this Escalade is really good. My very first enclosed trailer was a Cargo Mate. That's the brand of this bad boy. So my first one was a Cargo Mate 28 foot. And I used to haul it with, at the time my wife had a, a eight speed Cadillac Escalade. This is a 10 speed. Maybe the extra two speeds help it a little bit. I'm not really sure, but anyhow, the first one was a 2017 Escalade. We had a 2017 trailer and I used to put my Supra in there and the Supra weighed a lot more than it does now. I used to put the Supra and a Yamaha side-by-side, -side, which is much heavier than a golf cart, loaded with tools, nitrous tanks, fuel, all of my stuff. I took me, my wife, who was pregnant at the time with Leilani, my best friend Robert, my parents, my dog, guys, we loaded that the SUV, and we went to North Georgia. We went to Clayton, Georgia for the half mile race. So, and our Escalade pulled like almost 12,000 pounds, no problems through the mountains. We did have uh, like stability bars. What are those things called? Like weight distribution bars. And I have some now, but truthfully, I don't plan on towing much with this. The idea is to always haul it behind the bus, but a little local stuff or shit, even when I bought it now in Jacksonville, I pulled it home and it did plenty good. But anyhow, my first trailer was a 28 foot cargo mate. It was awesome. It was really good to us. We had that for about, I don't know, like two years or so. And I ended up selling it. Um, 
Then I had an open trailer at one point. Then I had my ATC 24 foot, which was really cool. The ATC had an escape door on this side, which was nice uh, to be able to open that and get in and out of the car comfortably, especially with the row cage, especially for a bigger person. Um, but this one does not have that. It didn't come with that. But my my first two trailers, I've always installed winches in them. And even yesterday, I already went out and bought a winch. I'll show you guys in a minute. So I haven't installed it yet, but the idea is I could always just pull the car up to the ramp and just winch it in and that's it. Or I'm skinny enough to be able to crawl out of a window. It's not an issue. Um, but anyways, as I talk about it, I guess I'll walk around. All three trailers I've had, I've always requested them to have these Husky uh, electric jacks installed. So this thing is a breeze. I am not going to be cranking a trailer of this size. So I highly recommend that. Um, I love the silver and black. My other one was silver and chrome. And this stands out way more. It looks super, super cool. So silver and black, you see it there. My first trailer ever had double doors just like this. And I loved it, man. It feels so much more, I don't know, just grand. So much more badass. My ATC had just one single door. So I love that there's two doors. These light bars, it's legit daylight out here at night. Like it's crazy, crazy bright. My ATC had much, much smaller LED lights. I had two of them, but much smaller. These bad boys are huge. Has another light here. It has power outlets on the outside. Has a little step you can put in and out. And there's also like an internal step inside. So it has that, all LED lights all around it. The back door is massive, guys. This thing inside is way larger than the ATC that we had. It's longer, taller. My our, our golf cart would scratch every time going into our ATC. Like like the roof would scratch bad. Like it'll get indent. The roof will get pushed in and then pop back out once it finally went through. I haven't loaded anything in here yet, but there's no way the golf cart could reach the top of this. This thing's a beast. Much taller. I love the layout of the lights. It looks really cool. I love how they pretty much blacked out everything. Like even the handles are all blacked out. The handles, another two massive light bars back here. Extremely, extremely bright. And now race family, time to show you guys the inside. This thing is really cool. Check it out. Here we go. Oh, bam, guys, it has blue lights which is really neat because our motorhome, you guys have probably seen some of our other videos, our motorhome has blue lights all on the bottom. Like once we're parked at the track, at night usually we'll put on the blue lights all at the bottom. It came like that. This bad boy has blue lights here or you can put them blue and white or blue or white. You can mix them or, or do them separate. You could open both doors. This is that built-in step I talked about. More blue lights in the inside. So at night it freaking glows super nice in here. Or you can use those lights as white. So they go white and blue or white or blue. So that's cool. The roof, I wish I could, let me see. Guys, the roof, this is me, I'm six foot tall. The tip of my fingers get to the top. Like, I mean, that's like me stretching a lot. Like it, it's, it's really, I don't know how tall that is. Freaking six, seven, it's like an eight foot roof easily. And then it's even taller in the back because it has like a dip here. You can see where it kind of goes down, just like low cars can get in no problem. Here, I can't even reach the roof. Yeah, so this thing is freaking sweet. Um, I don't even know what else to tell you guys. This thing is massive. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love how the cabinets, my, my ATC were all black cabinetry. Everything was black. I love how this, they incorporated the silver with the black. It makes it stand out so much more. So that's cool. Here's the little winch that I bought. It's a very small winch, but in my last trailer, I actually had a 3,500 pound winch. And this is the exact winch I had in my first trailer back in 2017. The reason why I like this one, it brings a wireless remote. I bought this at Harbor Freight for like, I don't even know, 80 bucks or so. So it's really cheap. It's just 2,500 pounds. The freaking string is pretty small, but we're not, I mean, the car is just gonna freely roll in here. Like you're not, this is to pull something out of the mud or something that's heavily stuck and needs a really good tug. What we need it for is nothing. So I'm gonna mount that little thing there. I don't even know the name of that guy, but I'll mount that there and it lets the door clear perfectly fine. And then there goes the little winch there. I have to get it wired in a little bit. So I'll do it today. So that's that. It comes with a little wireless remote. I can bring the car right on in. This thing's got a radio. My first trailer had a radio. My last one did not. So I won't play any music, but yeah, it's got a cool radio. It's got four speakers on the roof. It's got speakers here and there. And then also on the back, it's crazy loud. It's got a wardrobe closet. My, my Both my trailers have had that, but this thing is just tall, man. Like that pipe is crazy tall. 
wardrobe closet. It's got a built-in toolbox. My first trailer may have had this. I think it did. My last one did not. I had just a freaking like a cabinetry there with like a shelf. So I had all my stuff just kind of thrown. So here I could definitely spread the tools around. So that's really nice to have. Again, just tons of switches for the lights for the outside. We got power outlets inside everywhere. We have this blue thing here. This is my first trailer with this. This is a built-in solar panel. So there's a solar panel on the roof and I can, I guess, control stuff through there. I haven't even messed with it really. I don't plan on touching it either, but nonetheless, it'll, obviously capture sun and charge the house battery to keep it charged up. So that's a nice feature. Otherwise it only charges if you plug it into the house. Like my previous trailers only charge if they're plugged in or when they're in tow, it also charges the battery. But this guy's charging all the time. So that's really cool. Little fuse box up here. The battery's tucked away down there. I got a spare tire uh, slot here. So that's cool. I have an, an extra tire there in case of a blowout. So overall, the ATC had like an aluminum floor, um, which truly was uncomfortable. Like if you had to get on your knees to strap the car from underneath, that crap would hurt your knees like crazy. Kids, like my daughter loves just playing inside trailers. She'll come in here and start running around. And I always feared her falling on the aluminum floor and like scuff up her knees or cut herself up. This is like a rubberized floor. It won't hurt you at all. So that's really cool. It's carpeted all on the sides, like a dark gray carpet. So it looks super freaking nice. Guys, overall, this thing is an absolute dream. My favorite trailer so far. Check out FB Trailers. I have a lot of cool stuff on inventory. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll walk you guys around quickly. The Supra, again, I've been making great progress in the Supra. Next video, let's start uploading more frequently like you guys keep requesting. So our next video will be super content. Let me show you guys some of the work that I've done and what's missing and what's to come. But yeah, man, here she is. Hope you guys like it. And soon, she'll be behind this bad boy it's gonna be crazy crazy long but i'm excited all right race fam you guys are all the best i'll catch you on the next upload baby i'm also gonna start uploading in spanish i have a lot of spanish followers that watch our videos and can't quite follow along so i'll be doing english and spanish let's get back to it you guys are the best